Hey, what's up guys, it's Jayco, and today we're going to be talking about the ridiculous idea Rockstar thought they had in releasing 200 collectible pumpkin trick-or-treat jack-o'-lantern things. You guys know it by now because it already has come out last week, and uh, I'm just now covering that, and it is a little bit late, believe me, I know, but I am honestly really upset with this as well as most of the community because of all the problems and bugs that came along with it as well as just the ridiculousness of the challenge itself collecting 200 of these little pumpkin collectibles in a single day not everyone has four or five hours or however long it takes to get all these pumpkins within their life it's just some sometimes it's not possible whether it be the weekend some people have kids you know there's there's people out there that this is literally impossible to get especially within the two week time limit or however long the halloween event is going on for 200 collectibles is absolutely ridiculous especially with all the hundreds of free roam events we have already out there and the already hundreds of collectibles that are already out there it is ridiculous that Rockstar keeps just filling up GTA Online's free roam with more events and more collectibles. They need to start putting some of these new content behind missions or something. They, they have to, or at least business missions or some sort of free roam mission that you can start without it actually, you know, just happening. The free roam events and collectibles that are already on the free roam map are a different story, but 200 collectibles in a day is absolutely ridiculous, especially for a simple little t-shirt. And it also doesn't help that the, there's been bugs and glitches that people have been reporting of this not even counting. You get all 200 and then it just doesn't even track correctly and you don't even get the reward of the 200 pumpkins, the t-shirt or whatever you get. So you could waste four or five hours getting all these pumpkins, expecting the cool little t-shirt, and you don't even get it because, hey, yeah, it just didn't track it. Sorry, try again tomorrow, because, I mean, hey, you do get another chance tomorrow. I actually originally planned on streaming, which I have been doing a lot lately, so if you are interested in streams, I do streams quite frequently now, and I plan on continuing to do them, so if you're interested in that, um, stop by one of the streams one day. We have fun. But anyways, I planned on doing it for a stream, and it just didn't seem worth it because of the, all the bugs and glitches and the fact that I would have had to do this for, like, you know, four or five hours straight, which is, you know, even, probably even lowballing it. I would plan on doing it with some friends to make it a, a little bit more fun and bearable. So, you know, waiting for two, three people to get one collectible at a time might have been a little bit more time-consuming. So, I mean, even then I planned on doing it, but now I don't want to because of the bugs and glitches that some of these collectibles collectibles don't even track so after you get 200 it just doesn't even count towards your reward maybe they'll fix it or maybe they have fixed it already by the time the video goes up so let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the collectibles all 200 of them have you done it will you do it or ha are you just completely avoiding it like me which i will probably do so um from here on out unless they make you know a 50 day collectible single day sort of thing that's more doable 100 just pushing it but it's more doable than 200 that's actually crazy but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and stop by one of the streams that i've been doing recently and i'll see you guys in the next one peace